morning and welcome to the very first episode of Food Galore right here on The Morning Talk. We're your hosts, I'm Laika, I'm Jane and I'm welcoming you to the show. Today we're going to talk about what gets people up early in the morning. What wakes Jane? me up in the morning is a cup of coffee, a real good one. What's yours? Or a cup of tea maybe. That's really interesting. So today we're going to talk to somebody who knows how to make the perfect cup of coffee or tea. So please stay with us after a few words from our sponsors. Welcome back to the Morning Talks Food Galore. Our guest for today is going to show us the correct cupping of tea and of course we'll talk about the benefits of tea and coffee intake. And he'll also share some more interesting facts about it. So please join us in welcoming to the show our guest, the coffee bean and tea leaf operations manager, Mr. Wissam al -Hassanei. Good morning, Mr. Wissam. Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Laika. And good morning for the viewers as well. And thank you for inviting me to your show this morning. Mr. Wissam, there's so many brands of coffee out there. What makes the coffee bean different from the rest? Well, like as we say in the coffee bean and tea leaf, we were born and brewed in California back in 1963. And that makes the coffee bean and tea leaf one of the oldest specialty coffee and tea concepts in the world. Uh, for nearly 50 years, the coffee bean and tea leaf has been striving to provide our guests with the best premium products because we believe they deserve the finest things in life. Great coffee and a variety of teas make your brand really popular out there in the market. Can you please tell us about your coffee? Jane, the coffee bean and tea leaf made a commitment to its guests to always provide the finest products. That's why our coffee master goes direct to the farms and they build relations with them. We get the finest coffee, the 1% of the specialty grade Arabica coffee from different regions in the world, from Indonesia, Papua New Guinea to uh, South America, Latin America and East Africa. But the journey doesn't end here. There's a lot of um, things that affects a good cup of coffee. There is, we, we, we really care about the way we store the coffee, the measurement of coffee we use, the type of water we use the temperature where we store the coffee, the light, the humidity, all eventually affects the uh, journey of the good cup of coffee. That's why we here at the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf work hard to ensure that the customer really gets a good cup of coffee. Could you tell us how many types there are? Well, like uh, this is my favorite question. Uh, coffee Bean and Tea Leaf carries a variety of teas. It ranges between 30 to 40 types of tea, depends on the season and the regions and the availability of the products. We do have uh, teas that comes from different regions in the world, from China, from Japan, from Sri Lanka, from Kenya, uh, and all are distributed into different categories. We got black teas, flavored black teas, green teas, flavored green teas. We also have herbal infusions, we have fruit infusions, and we have one of the finest rare teas, which we call it gold line rare teas, such as Jasmine Dragon Phonix Pearl, which is one of my favorite teas. So, Mr. Wissam, you say that there is a procedure for making a perfect cup of tea. Uh, is this process called cupping? Before you answer that question, let's pause for a while to hear some words from our sponsors. We'll be right back. So, Mr. Rissam, what is cupping? Well, like uh, before I talk about cupping, let me just explain the first uh, question that you have asked. The perfect cup of tea. Uh, the perfect cup of tea impacts three, four uh, important factors. One is the water, because tea is 98% of water. So, we suggest and we highly recommend to use uh, bottled water or filtered water. And then we also have the proportion, which is um, the amount of tea we use to the water. It should be 3 grams and 8 ounces as per coffee bean standards. And then we talk about the storage and the freshness of the tea, which is one of also the most important factors. Because we have to uh, put our teas in an airtight container in a dry, dark place. And then comes the loose leaf. Loose leaf is very important because the whole loose leaf imparts flavor, 
imparts aroma and imparts a good color in the tea. While cupping, I can show you uh, my favorite part, which is cupping of tea. So now we're gonna do cupping for three types of tea. We're gonna do the black tea, we're gonna do the oolong tea, which is actually a blend between oolong black and uh, green teas, and we're gonna see the jasmine dragon green tea. We already have here three grams of green tea, black tea. We're gonna use our sand timer, which will allow us to determine the timing needed because each type of tea requires a special time or required time for getting the right taste and the right flavor. As you see, we have here the green color, the black color, and the red color. The green color works for the green tea, which requires three minutes. The black color is for the black and oolong, which needs five minutes. And we have also for the herbal and fruit infusion, which needs uh, around seven minutes. So, um, cupping, the idea of cupping is to make sure that we can identify the taste of the coffee, the color, and the flavor. Because it's very important if we're looking for a certain type of tea to find it. We cannot find it without doing the right cupping. That's why also we have used warm cupping set. We have used three grams of tea and we have used an amount of water enough to get the right uh, taste of flavor, aroma and uh, color. Uh, cupping, the unique thing about cupping is that it involves all your senses. It involves the sight, the aroma or the smell and involves the taste and involves also I, I believe like when you feel like the warmth of the tea. It's very important. Now our green tea is ready. It's already three minutes. It's very important not to oversteep the green tea as we don't want to get a bitter taste. So we have to pour the contents and allow it to dry a bit. Mr. Wissam, uh, what do we get from uh, the green teas? I know it's antioxidants, yeah? Well, actually, green tea is full of benefits. There are like 25 benefits of green tea. So we can see here the whole leaf. It's green and if we look at the color we see that it is light green color now mr wisdom how long can you keep tea is there an expiration date for it how long can you keep it for well um, the shelf life of tea like it's what we have here is around one and a half years. but it's, it's that's not only the, the most important thing it is also how to uh, store the tea. If you don't store it properly, then you will not get the proper tea. Let me get this down, stuck. So you're saying that the storage conditions also matter yes. for the taste of the tea. But the more you consume the tea, it's the better. The more it's fresh, the more it's better. The more it's stored in a proper place, it's much better. When you've done this, can we still use it again? Uh, you mean the tea, same tea? No, it's preferred that you use the tea only for one side. You see the difference of the teas? We got also some teas fell down here. We got the green tea. We got, this is a blend. Actually, it's a unique blend. It's a green tea, black tea, and a long tea flavored with uh, pomegranate and blueberry. And here is our, our uh, English breakfast blend. So Laika, I think I'm ready to try it out. I'll try sip it, before, it my way. Try it before it gets cold. Very nice. Very light. Interesting. Right. This Your is my turn. turn. Well, what is this, Mr. Wissam, again? Uh, well, that's the uh, pomegranate blueberry. This is a blend pomegranate of blueberry. A black, green, and oolong, and flavored with pomegranate and blueberry. Interesting. Oh, that's lovely. Um, it tastes slightly sweet. Um, I can taste uh, the berry. Uh, is there sugar in it? Actually, that's natural sweetness in the tea. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, it's cool. So it's been an interesting morning here at Food Galore. I'll sure learned a lot of things. Thank you, Jane. I did too, I did. In fact, I would like to thank Mr. Wissam for inviting us over. Thank you, Jane, and thank you, Laika. Thank and you. I'd like to thank your viewers for uh, this great show. And if you're really looking to have a great cup of coffee and a unique cup of tea, you can visit any of our stores at Salmiya, at Kifan, at Jahra, at Abu Halifa, at Ahmadi, in Shark, and in Gulf Street.
Thank you very much. Well, that's all from us here. I'm Laika. I'm Jane. I'm Wissam. Join, Join us here at, here at the Morning Talk.